these cells are dividing in a very unusual way, without replicating their DNA. When we first saw it, we are not sure whether what we saw is real, because this is not how we know of cell division from the textbook. But it was real. A team of scientists have discovered a whole new, previously unknown kind of cell division. And they even have an idea of why this textbook busting event happens. Normally, before a cell divides, it needs to duplicate all its DNA, so that each new cell gets a full copy. So over the past uh, 180 years, uh, since the cell division has been first described, only two types of the cell divisions has been extensively studied. These two types are mitosis and meiosis. But unlike both of these, in this new form of division, the cells don't make more DNA. They split up the DNA between them, but neither cell has a full copy. Chen and his team noticed this unusual division when observing skin cells in tiny zebrafish larvae. The team were able to colour each individual skin cell, and these fish are so small that they were able to track what happened to each cell. We want to understand how skin cells uh, may work together to enable animal growth. While tracking the cells, the team spotted the unusual cell division. Some skin cells can undergo two rounds of the cell divisions without the DNA replication. Not only once, but twice the cells were able to divide without replicating their DNA. And they seem to be in a bit of a rush the team noticed the cells were making a lot of mistakes. Sometimes the DNA wasn't separating cleanly between the new cells. Sometimes bits of DNA were almost getting left behind. And sometimes the cells gave up on dividing altogether. So why were these cells skipping the crucial step of replicating their DNA before dividing? Well, Chen and his team believe it may be a way to make sure there's enough skin to go around when growth is fast. We think that this division is a temporary measures that any more use to expand their body surface. In fact, after a few weeks, the zebrafish got rid of these unusual cells and replaced them with regular cells, with the normal amount of DNA that you'd expect. This brand new type of cell division raises many questions. We've got an idea of how it happens and why, but how widespread is it? And is it present in you and me? Because we uh, see this unique cell division events in uh, zebra fish, uh, which is a vertebrate species. I think there's a, a possibility we might see similar kind of division uh, in humans. 